Welcome to Science Access. In today's class, we'll be talking about chromosome and we'll be following this outline. Introduction to chromosome, where we talk about the gene, the DNA, we'll talk, quickly talk about the chromosome and the nucleus. We'll also talk about the structure of the chromosome, talk about classification of the chromosome based on various um, criteria such as this centromere position, centromere number and function. We will now give the general function of the chromosome. Take a look at this picture. Have you wondered why the son is like the father or why the daughter is like the mother? This is as a result of what hereditary material that is passed on from the parents to the offspring. Character such as height, color is controlled by gene. Now, this gene is a segment of this DNA that you can see on the screen. A segment of this DNA that controls a particular character is called gene. Now, this DNA is a double helix structure and it's actually folded into a structure regarded as what? The chromosome. This chromosome is actually found or is located inside the nucleus. Why the nucleus is located inside the cell? What is chromosome? As you can see from the diagram, chromosome is a thread like structure made up of DNA tightly coiled around protein regarded as histine and they are found in the nucleus of the cell. Chromosomes carry genetic material and they are responsible for passing on hereditary traits from one generation to the next. Let's differentiate between the term chromosome, chromatin and chromatid. Now as you can see from the diagram or the picture, chromosome is the condensed form where DNA is tightly condensed to form a thickened and shortened structure as you can see from the screen. Now look at the interface stage. Chromatin in this stage is visually invisible. So chromatin is actually a chromosome that has been decondensed, that is not thick, very tiny, such that tiny and long, such that they are practically invisible. And they are the form that is actually present in the interface stage. Now in this interface stage, chromatin starts preparing for cell division and they duplicate themselves. Now the duplicate is what you can see as a two strands. Each strand of this is actually called chromatid. Why the chromosome in the condensed form, that is the form that is virtually visible, very tiny and long, is called chromatin. But when it thickens to form a visible structure, it's called chromosome. Please note the difference now between chromosome, chromatin, and sister chromatids. Note that this double is regarded as sister chromatid, but one is regarded as chromatids. Let's talk about the structure of chromosome. The part of the chromosome include the centromere, the kinetic core, secondary constriction, telomere, chromonema, matrix, and pellicle. Take a look at this diagram. The centromere is the structure holding the two sister chromatids together. The centromere provide a space for the attachment of the kinetochore. Now, the kinetochore is the structure connecting the spindle fiber to the centromere. Now, take a look at the end of this chromosome. You can see the telomere. They are repetitive DNA sequence found at the end of the chromosome, and they actually protect the chromosome from degradation. Now, it should be noted that the centromere is also called primary constriction. Why the Kinetochore are actually protein assembled on the centromere during cell division. The centromere divide the chromosome into two arms. The shorter arm is regarded as the P arm on top and the longer arm is regarded as the Q arm. Now let's talk about other structure. You can see the pellicle which covers the chromosome, protecting the chromosome. You can also see the matrix which is at a gel-like substance. Then you can also see the chromomere. Now aggregate of the chromomere make up the chromonemata. Note that the chromomere contains gene. The last structure of the chromosome, as you can see from the diagram, is the nucleolar organizer, also called secondary constriction, which is present in some chromosome. Let's talk about classification of chromosome. Chromosome can be divided into various categories or type based on the following, the centromere position, centromere number, and their function. Now, take a look at this diagram. If the centromere is located at the middle of the chromosome divided the two arms into two equal parts, the chromosome is termed metacentric type of chromosome. If the centromere is positioned such that it divides the chromosome into two unequal halves, 
it is called submetacentric chromosome. Now, take a look at the acocentric chromosome type. The central male is located close to the end of the chromosome, dividing the chromosome into one extremely long part and one extremely short part. This is termed acrocentric, while in the case of telocentric, the is actually located at the end of the chromosome. Now, let's talk about classification based on central male number. If the chromosome has no central male, it is called acentric chromosome. If it has one central male, it is called monocentric chromosome. If the chromosome has two central male, it is called dicentric chromosome. And if it has numerous central male, it is called polycentric chromosome. The last classification of chromosome is based on sex function, and chromosome is classified into octosome and sex chromosome. The octosome are chromosomes that are not involved in sex determination. In humans, there are 22 pair or 44 octosomes, while the sex chromosome in humans are actually one pair or two chromosomes. In male, it is actually XY, while in female, it is XX for human being. What are the functions of the chromosome? Chromosomes actually carry hereditary material, ensuring that characters are actually transferred from parents to their offspring. This is the end of the lecture. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.